Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Coffee Rant with Dano and Frank, our Patriot Bald Eagle. If you have to hit pause on this video to get your coffee together, whatever beverage you deem necessary, go ahead and do that now. Uh, we got a lot to talk about here, guys. Uh, this one involving Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's massive recall on some of their different nuts, cashews in particular, it looks like. Uh, select lots of cashews recalled for potential, you guessed it, salmonella risk. Now today we're reading from USA Today, although there are articles from Fox Business uh, and some other articles as well. Uh, it was even on Good Morning America. So if you want to check that out, I would just Google Trader Joe's Nut Recall and you will have a plethora of information about all this going on. I'll tell you what, these recalls, it's just one after another, guys. Uh, we're going to read from USA Today. Like I said, uh, it's not a great day to be a nut lover, especially if you are a Trader Joe's customer. Uh, and this is all from USA Today. The grocery store chain said it was recalling, quote, specific, end quote, production lots of 50% less sodium roasted and salted cashews, whole cashews, over salmonella concerns on Sunday. The recalled product was sold at Trader Joe's retail locations across the country, impacting cashew lovers across 16 states. 16 states. The FDA found during routine testing that one of the recalled lots tested positive for the presence of salmonella. Uh, consumers have yet to report illnesses as a result of product consumption. The recall notice comes days after John B. Sanfilippo and Son Incorporated, the manufacturers behind Great Value brand, sold at Walmart stores, recalled a limited amount, I got that limited in quotes, of honey roasted cashews over undeclared allergens, which was coconut. Coconut. Uh, as USA Today had reported, as they say here. Uh, here's what to know about the recall, including refund availability and product numbers. Okay. Labels to read. We're going to go over the numbers here. Um, I know that this is a popular one from Trader Joe's. A lot of our viewers shop at Trader Joe's. Uh, I've actually looked at some of the different prices of these products before, so I wanted to get this information out as fast as possible. Uh, one way to check whether your bag of Trader Joe's cashews is part of the, the lot numbers recalled is to check the lot number and best buy date match the list included below. The lot number is printed on the back panel of the plastic pouches. Now these are clear, they're like kind of kind of clear plastic pouches if you've never seen them before. Uh, I, there's, there's not too many lot numbers, so I'm just going to go over them real quick. Uh, all of them start with the letter T, T as in Tom. So T12139, okay, with a uh, best, or I wonder why they, they don't say whether this is the best if used by date or not. I guess this is just the date on the bag. So I'm going to give the lot number and this will be the date on the bag, okay? So T is in Tom, 12139-February 21st. 2025. So it's the best if used by date. Okay. T12139, February 21st, 2025. The next one is T12140 March 1st, 2025. The next one, T12141 March 8th, 2025. And the, the last one, T12142 March 10th. 2025. So if you have any of those, those are under the recalled products and you need to take it back and get your money back. Don't throw it away. Put it in a bag or something. Maybe call them. Call them first. Let you know that you have one of the bags affected. Maybe take a photo of it. Maybe you can send them a photo because they, they may not want you to bring it back to the store, but make sure you get your money back. It's the only way this is going to ever end is if you get your money back. I cannot stress that enough. Um, you can also check to see if the product was manufactured in India or Vietnam, according to the FDA. You can probably also find all of this information on the FDA website. Uh, no other lot numbers or products were affected by this recall. It's the 50% less sodium roasted and salted whole cashews. 
that were sold at Trader Joe's locations. Now get ready. Now this may, before I go over the states here, okay, this, the, these things have the tendency to grow. Okay, it's a brand new recall. So as we go along here, and I will keep everyone updated as we go along if it doesn't get bigger, but these things have the tendency to get bigger. So even if your state is not included, I would definitely still check those lot numbers that we just went over with the best of use by dates. Um, but the states uh, that they are saying are included is Alabama, Arkansas, Arizona, California, Colorado, Idaho, Kansas, Louisiana, New Mexico, Nevada, Oklahoma, Oregon, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, and Washington. So if any of those states uh, you are in and you have purchased the 50% less sodium roasted or uh, and salted whole cashews, then you need to make sure that you extra check. I would check anyway. I would check anyway. If you have any of these cashews from Trader Joe's, no matter what state you're in, I would check those lot numbers that we just went over just to make sure, just to be safe, okay? Um, they go on to say, consumers have been urged to dispose again. We have where they want you to dispose of it first, right? This is the first line in every article I've ever read with recalls, okay? Consumers have been urged to dispose of any and all potentially contaminated nuts as soon as possible as they are not safe to eat. You can take your bag of 50% less sodium roasted and salted whole cashews, end quote, back to your local Trader Joe's for a full refund. Now, I would recommend, now they say this second, right? This, throw it away before we say anything else, but you can take it back and get your money back. Get your money back. Again, this will never end until prices are paid, until manufacturers are paying the cost for all this stuff. This will never get fixed, ever. It's just going to keep going and going, and they're they're counting on people just throwing them away. Don't do that. Get your money back. You paid for it. Um, another thing, too, I, personally, I would call them. I would call Trader Joe's and say, look, I have one of these that's affected. If you don't want me to bring it to the store because it's affected, right? I mean, if it's unopened, it's one thing. But if you've opened it and everything, well, you know, they may not want it back. Okay, but maybe work it out to where you can work out the price over the phone. Maybe send an email with a photograph proving that you have it, right? I mean, <laughs> and and also, and, and I know some people will maybe disagree or whatever, but make sure you clean the area. Clean the area. If you've opened a bag of these, if you've moved it to something else, sometimes people move peanuts and stuff to like another bin to a seal it and everything. Make sure that you completely wash that. Everything. And at that point, I don't know, you may have to throw it away, but hopefully you still have the bag of your receipt. This is where it can get a little, little tossy turny, I guess. I don't know, but, uh, let's see. Anyone with questions about the recall can reach, uh, Winders LLC, Winders, W-E-N-D-E-R-S LLC, the manufacturing company that issued the recall via email at foodsafety at WindersLLC.com. All one word, WindersLLC.com. Uh, Salmonella, they go on, you know, we've gone over this a lot. I'll just go over this briefly here. Uh, Salmonella is known to cause, quote, serious and sometimes fatal infections in young children, frail or elderly people, and others with weakened immune systems, according to the Food and Drug Administration. Healthy people who are infected with the organism may experience fever, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. So, symptoms that are pretty much like everything else in life. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's what's hard to determine with all this stuff. But guys, just wanted to put out this quick coffee rant here. The recalls just seem to be getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's insane. There's no other word. I, I use I don't use that word a lot, but it's absolutely insane. It's gotten beyond ridiculous. It's gotten be out of control. These recalls are getting more and more. I mean, it's to the point where I finally know how to spell salmonella, right? <laughs> uh, that's not funny, but you know, it's you gotta laugh a little, right? It's either laugh or scream. Um, and and I know that this is gonna affect some people on the channel. It's this one that. I've had people ask me like to check the different prices of the cashews. Cashews 
I guess they're a good price at Trader Joe's and good quality. Well, apparently not. And I don't know. I know Trader Joe's is one where they don't really mess around. They've had other products where the, this has happened with different things, you know, with things in the food that it's been in the past. It's a while ago. Uh, but they've canceled a lot of these uh, manufacturers and stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if even something that, you know, like this, they may be dealing with somebody else because Trader Joe's uh, and a lot of these other, other companies have had it. You know, they, they stick by. Trader Joe's is known for standing by their product 100%, the people who they who they buy from, too. You know, they seek out private owners, private lots, people that are, you know, delivering high quality for a good price. And, you know, for this to happen, I wouldn't be surprised if this Wellers, LLC, whoever they are, that might be the last we see of them. And, and honestly, I'm not saying I hope so. I don't know. You know, there might be good ties with them and maybe, you know, accidents do happen. But these accidents are getting more and more frequent. So we need to make sure, get your money back. Get your money back. Because nothing says I am fed up than getting your money back. Because they think most people are just going to throw it away thinking that, well, they don't want to touch it. They don't want to do this. And that may be true too. But if that is the case, make sure you're taking photographs. Make sure you're sending emails. Email these people at Wellers and make sure they are giving you, one, either your money back or comping you maybe for, maybe they'll offer you a good deal. Maybe deals on future products. That is one good way a company can do that and not have... In some ways, they want to do that because they don't want to sacrifice having to write you a check or, or giving you more money because that is, that's more paper proof that they have made this mistake. 16 states is a big mistake. I do, like anything else, it wouldn't surprise me if that gets a little bigger. Uh, so even if it's not in your state, make sure you're paying attention to the lot codes. We went over the best of use by dates, these kind of things. And if it's in your state, I would not hesitate to make a phone call. Or maybe call Trader Joe's and see if you can take it back as your money back, which they probably would do anyway. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.